On November 26th of 2018, NASA is going to try and attempt to land its next robotic mission on the surface of Mars, this being NASA's InSight lander. Now when InSight enters the Martian atmosphere, it will be traveling at 20,000 kilometers per hour, and over the course of only six and a half minutes, it's going to slow down all the way to only eight kilometers per hour. So how is it going to do that? Let's talk about that. Now the first thing the spacecraft is going to do when it reaches the Martian atmosphere is actually get rid of its cruise stage. Now this cruise stage exists because the InSight lander is actually stuck inside the capsule itself. It's not exposed to the environment of outer space. Therefore, they need different power systems and communication protocols just to make sure that the spacecraft is on the trajectory it needs to be. But once we enter the atmosphere, we no longer need that stage so we can get rid of it. So that's the first thing that needs to happen. Now you may be aware that Mars's atmosphere is very thin but we can still use that atmosphere to our advantage when trying to land things on the surface. In fact, when InSight actually enters the atmosphere, we can use its heat shield to try and deaccelerate it. And this actually causes InSight to experience 12 Gs for about two minutes. Now us humans wouldn't be able to survive that type of environment, but our robots can. And in fact, the heat shield gets to temperatures upwards of a thousand degrees Celsius. Now altogether, this process of just using the atmosphere lowers the velocity by 18 18,500 kilometers per hour. So without this atmosphere, it would take a lot more fuel to land. Now once the spacecraft reaches around 1,400 kilometers per hour, which scientists predict is gonna be about 16 kilometers above the surface, the supersonic parachutes are gonna deploy from InSight. Now this parachute is 17.7 meters in diameter, making it very large, and in fact was tested here on planet Earth at very high altitudes to try and resemble the Martian atmosphere. Now 15 seconds after the parachute is deployed, the heat shield will be dropped because we won't need it anymore for landing. And then 10 seconds after the heat shield is dropped, the landing legs will then be lowered and locked for the landing sequence. Now for another minute, InSight will be attached to the parachute and it will be using its radar features to be able to detect the exact altitude and velocity that it is traveling at as it gets closer and closer to the surface of Mars. But there's still a problem. As we get closer and closer to the surface, the supersonic parachute won't slow us down enough to safely land. In fact, if we just use the parachute, we would still crash into the surface. Therefore, the InSight lander is then dropped from the parachute. The $830 million Mars mission is dropped. But a few seconds later, the retro rockets will burn and navigate quickly away from the parachute so the two don't collide. Then the InSight lander will continue to use its radar Doppler feature to figure out its altitude and its velocity as it slowly approaches the surface of the red planet. Now all of this is expected to take place on November 26th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. And if you wanna watch it, the links are in the description down below to see what NASA's live stream is like. If you wanna learn more about the NASA InSight mission, I recommend you checking out this this video that describes what the purpose is and what we want to plan to get out of it. But thank you for watching and I hope InSight lands successfully.